Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play series of Design Your Own Mission Mod Playing Edge of High Life by Jimmy Leopard uh, Chapter 3, 20, Mission 21, Blitz! Let's do this! Blitz! You're a blitz! Next morning in front of Scott's and Thomas's apartment Door building Uh oh Yes? Good morning, sir. We're looking for Thomas Jenkins. Uh, that's me, officer. We're here cause of the death of Robert Sullivan. Uh, wh what? He was found dead last night in the underground hotel garage in Horodale. Since you knew him, we need need you to come with us to the station for questioning. Okay, let's, let's go. Five minutes after Thomas left the station to the, to the station. Shit. Calling, ring, 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 ring. Yeah, Nate, it's Scott. It's I'm coming to you now. We need to talk about just about something. Thomas may be in trouble. Why? What happened? I'll tell you when I can't I come here. See you soon, man. All right. Hung up. Oh, driving to Nate's house again. I hate that objective. God dang it! Every damn time! What's going on, Scott? Where's the problem? I'll keep it short. One of the Thomas's friends gave us a new apartment in exchange for Thomas's house. We had to move so Gary's men don't find us, but they went to Thomas's old house. They didn't find us there, so they trashed the house. That made Thomas's friend mad. He wanted answers from Thomas, but when Thomas didn't give him any, he wanted to call the cops, so we had to kill him. It was the only way to stop him. The last person he was with was Thomas, but we ain't sure if he told anyone about that. So you think that guy told someone he's meeting Thomas before he went there? I don't know, but if he did, then cops will find out and Thomas will be the first suspect. Well, did Thomas kill him or you did? I did. Alright, then... There can be no proof that Thomas killed him. He should be on the clear. The cops took him for questioning a while ago. No worry about it. They'll let him go. Cell phone starts ring. I knew it. Yeah. Hey, man. What the fuck? What the? F what the fuck? What the? What the fuck? You are not serious. You are not serious. You. I hope you're not serious about that car. You motherfucker, you are. Going up on a Tuesday. La, 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 hey man, the cops asked me for uh, questions and let, let, let me go. Come pick me up at the station. Okay, I'll be there, man. See you. And they let him go. <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm going to pick him up from that station. He call us when you find some job for us. You got it. See you around. Let's go. Whee! My car is now here. Yay! I don't know how we got here. Pick up Thomas from the police station in commerce. Sure, with pleasure. There we go. This went fucking well. Did it? Yeah, let's get out of here. I need to tell you something. I was thinking... Well, that's something new. Listen. Gosh, listen. Uh, with this shit around Sullivan, you realize that we can't stay in that apartment, right? Uh, that was an agreement between me and him, and now he's gone, and we might have a problem. So what are you suggesting? Moving? Moving? Again? 
Let's blue beat the last time. We got the money from the last job. Let's buy a house. We are gonna need something bigger anyway. Okay, I, I agree. Which one? Don't worry about that. I'll find us something. Jump, drop me off at the bank. Drop Thomas off at the bank. Sure. Thanks, I'll see you when I see you. Huh. Alright, let's see. Calling, ring, ring, hello. Yo, Ricky, it's Thomas. It's been a long time, man. Yo, what's going on, Thomas? I thought you died or something. I need a favor, man. Sure, sure. What's up? Do you remember that house you told me about five or six months ago? What about it? Do you know if it, uh, it got sold or not? It didn't, brother. Why? I'm thinking of buying it. I need the price and the address, man. <laughs> what do you think you'll buy it with? Hopes and dreams? It costs about $300,000. Let's just say I saved up some money, so do you have the address or not? Haha, <laughs> I get it. 2992 Mulholland Drive, ah fuck. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, Thomas! Yeah? Come by my place one of these days. I have a new set of wheels and I want to race. <laughs> I'll have it in mind. I'll see you when I see you. Peace, man! Hung up. Go in the bank. Why the bank? We have the cash in... Cash. Why, why the bank? Why? What's what, about 20 minutes later? Wow, that's a lot of cash. All right, uh, I have the money. It's time to buy that house. Half an hour later at uh, Mulholland Drive. Thanks for the ride. Shit, that's a nice house. God will like this. Which one? Oh, this. The house cost. Go buy it. Oh, I like it. I like it. What you do with the spending thing and stuff? I like it. Let's buy ourselves a house. Bang! Congratulations, you bought a new house! Thank you! Calling, ring, ring. I still don't get it, why the bank? Yeah! Hey, Scott, it's Thomas. Meet me at the uh, whatever Mulholland Drive in 15 minutes, alright? Why? Just get your ass to Mulholland Drive, whatever. I have something to show you. To be continued. Oh, that's lovely. I've done some shopping. I like it. Whoop. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in Edge of High Life by Jimmy Leopard.